Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're going to be installing Kali Linux version 2023.2 inside VirtualBox on a Windows 11 PC. Before we begin, let's take a look at the minimum requirements. You're going to want at least 2 gigs of RAM, 4 is recommended, 20 gigs of hard disk space, 1 CPU core, but 2 is recommended, the Kali Linux image and VirtualBox and the extension pack. If you don't have VirtualBox installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. All tools and links will be in the description below. If you found this video useful, please give us a like. Now let's get to installing Kali Linux. And we're at our Windows 11 desktop. I have VirtualBox open. Here's my VirtualBox manager. If you don't have this already installed, you can check out this video and I'll walk you through the steps. I'm gonna minimize it for now. I'm gonna open up my browser and I have the Kali Linux website, which is kali.org. For everything I'm using, there'll be links in the description below. So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna be clicking on the download link. It's gonna take us over to the download page. Typically what you'd wanna use is the virtual machine image. I've had issues with this with VirtualBox here. I'd rather get the uh, bare metal version. So we're gonna go over here and click on the installer image. And we're gonna scroll down a little bit over here. And you can see that the latest version that we have is 2023.2. We're gonna be downloading the 64-bit version. And you can see that it's three point gigs in size. You can go ahead and click on that. It's automatically gonna start downloading the ISO file. Uh, what I'll do is I'll jump over to the next step when the download is complete. Okay, the download is now complete. You gotta make sure that you know where you downloaded this file because we'll be pointing to it in just a moment. I'm gonna go ahead and minimize my browser and go back into my VirtualBox manager. And what we're gonna be doing is creating a new virtual machine. So I'm gonna click on the new button up here at the top and then I'm gonna select expert mode and we're gonna give it a name. So the name I'm gonna give it is Kali Linux. 2023.2. I'm fine with it leaving it in the default folder. If you want to put it in a specific folder because of space issues, you can select that right here. And now we're going to be selecting the ISO image file. Uh, I'm going to click on the other and I have mine downloaded in my downloads folder. So here it is. I'm going to go ahead and select that and then click on open. In this list, we're going to be selecting Debian 64 because that's what it's based off of. And then we'll be leaving unintended install as is. We're going to select the hardware section. And this is where you can set the amount of RAM that you're dedicating and the processors that you're dedicating to this installation. So right now it's at two gigs of RAM and it has one CPU core. It will run with this. Um, but if you want to beef it up a bit, you can increase the amount of RAM. You can also add more CPU cores, just as long as you stay within the green section. So I'm just doubling up my CPU cores and RAM. That's good to go. Then we have hard disks. So I'm going to select this. And if you want to change the location where it's going to store this file, you can select that right over here by clicking on this folder. Now you can allocate more disk space or less disk space. 20 gigs is more than enough. And that's pretty much it for this area. We can go ahead and click on finish. Now we can select the virtual machine over here on the left hand side. And if you want to do any modifications to any of the system specs, you can click on the settings button and then you can go through the settings and change anything specific like display. If you want to add more virtual memory, I can max that out to 128. And that's pretty much the only thing I modify. But you, again, you can increase the RAM or processor cores if you would like to. So I'll be leaving everything as is over here. I'm going to click on OK. And now we're ready to install the operating system. So we're going to go ahead and select that and click on start and it's gonna boot up the virtual machine. Okay, so here we are at the installer. We're doing the full installation of the operating system, so nothing has been defined yet. So we'll select the graphical install, hit enter. And now it's gonna take us through the installation wizard. So you can select the language that you want here, then click on continue. And it's gonna be the same thing here for location. And then for keyboard, you're gonna select the language that you prefer. Okay, so now we're at configure the network. We have the host name already entered in as Kali. Go ahead and click on continue. And then the domain name we can leave as blank. And now we're gonna be typing in a full name. You can put in whatever name you want and then click on continue. It automatically assigns the same name for your username. And now you have to enter in a password. Once you have your password in, you can click on continue. Now we're gonna be configuring the clock. So you're gonna to wanna to select the region that you're in. For partition disk, we're gonna be using use guided entire disk. This is gonna be using the entire virtual drive that we've allocated for it, not the entire disk of your system. And we can select the disk partition. This is again, the allocated space that we have assigned and we'll be using all files in one partition. And now that we're finished, we can go ahead and select the last option and click on continue. And now we're ready to confirm changes. So we'll select yes and then continue. And it's gonna install the operating system. This step might take a couple minutes. I'll jump over to the next step. And now we're at the software selection. I am be using all the default options here. If you want to add anything more or remove any of them, you can go ahead at this point. Other than that, you can click on continue. And now we're going to be installing the Grub bootloader. We'll click on continue. And we want to select our drive and then click on continue. Okay, the installation is now complete. We can go ahead and click on continue. This is going to reboot and we'll get back to the login screen. 
And here we're at the login screen and go ahead and type in my username and password. The username and password is the one that you assigned during the installation. Once you have that entered, you can go ahead and click on login. Okay, the virtual machine is up and running. If we want to go to full screen, we can just go up here to the menu to view and then go into full screen mode and then switch here and it's gonna take over the entire screen. And there we have it. And here we are at the desktop of Kali Linux 2023.2. Inside VirtualBox, all the pre-installed applications are already right here, listed inside the menu. You can go ahead and start using it as you would. If you're looking for the virtual machine install, I'll make sure I link that in the description below. You can use that simple to use process if you're finding this one a little bit more difficult or complicated. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. Once again, thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you on the next one.